Joining us right now on this and much more is Mark Laurie. He is the founder of Jet.com, Quincy Brands, and the former e-commerce CEO at Walmart US. And Mark, it's great to see you here today. This is your first interview since you stepped down from that position at Walmart. It's, yeah, it's really good to have you here today. Thank you. Yeah, great to be here, Becky. Nice to see you. So I have so many things I want to talk about with you. I know we're never going to have enough time to get to all of it. But very quickly, I just want to ask you about e-commerce, where things stand right now, especially with what we've seen, some of the sell-off in some of these names. And I don't know if you were listening to Barry Sternlicht. He was just talking about how when he looks at companies like Shopify, he's just surprised by how far these companies have run, how far the stock prices have run, and he's worried about it. What do you think as somebody who knows e-commerce probably better than just about anybody on the planet? Yeah, I think, I mean, COVID definitely accelerated things, probably pulled up e-commerce by a couple of years. And, uh, you know, things did run up, like you said, and now it's just uh, selling off a bit. I think long term, obviously, e-commerce has still got a long ways to go. It's still early innings here. And, uh, yeah, feeling bullish still. When I look at what you're doing right now, there are so many interesting things. But let's start off with this new venture capital pro uh, uh, plan that you have with a -Rod. This is something where you each put $50 million or $50 million total of your own money into this. You're hoping to have 300 to $500 million that then you can go out and put into companies. Um, but you're looking at this a little differently. As somebody who's like a serial entrepreneur, you're taking bigger stakes in the companies that, that you do take stakes in. What's your, what's your theory behind this VC fund? Yeah, so it's called uh, VCP, uh, stands for Vision Capital People. And I do believe if you get those three things right, you could make uh, big things happen. And a lot of times as an entrepreneur, you have a really big vision. And, you know, the capital early stages is, you know, you get a few hundred thousand, maybe a million or two to kind of prove out. And then you get to another round and then you prove out and get to another round and prove out. And there's lots of pain along the way having to raise incremental rounds of financing. Um, this is we're going to do it a little bit different than typical VC firm. We're basically going to either come up with the idea ourselves, the vision, or find a great founder with the vision and give them 10 million seed capital up front and go after a big market in a really big way fast. Um, that'll enable them to hire a much better team out of the gate. A lot of times, you know, when you're strapped when you're early on, you can't really afford to hire an executive team. Uh, in this case, you can. And the plan is to go big quick. Um, and follow that $10 million roundup with like a 50 or $100 million Series A and go after really big opportunities. So that's something that doesn't really exist in the market right now and we're excited about. Uh, we actually have been making a number of investments, like you said, with that $50 million. I think we're at the beginning stages of a couple of mega trends in retail specifically, uh, one being conversational commerce. We use text and voice to do shopping. And the other is social commerce. And Alex and I just invested in a company called Now With. Uh, two amazing founders, Abra Potkin and Nicole Winneman. And uh, it basically connects like, uh, you know, Instagram followers to brands to, to bring uh, great products to those platforms. And so really excited about that. The, uh, the venture capital that you're talking about, doing this and investing big, doesn't exist. And probably for a reason, it means that you better be right with every one of the bullets that you shoot because you're taking a big chunk of your capital and putting it in. I, I know with Now With, you're, you're putting in $10 million and taking a 40% stake in the company. So it better pay off. What makes you so sure that this is the company that will do that? Yeah, I mean, first of all, in terms of the strategy, I think <clears throat> having $10 million to seed and being able to follow it up with $50 million gives the company a much better chance of success. So it's sort of self-fulfilling. You have the capital. You can hire the great people. If you've got a vision and the timing's right, it should all come together. And owning 40 to 80% of a company means that you don't really need as many hits. One big hit uh, you know, at a 40% at a stake pays for everything else. And so I do like the idea of these concentrated bets rather than just sprinkling dollars around. Like We have the ability to actually... Um, you know, influence and, and be a leader in the in the space that the company's in, given the capital and the types of people we're able to bring in. Now with sounds an awful lot like th this idea of having influencers actually selling product through that, having content together with sales, retail sales. Sounds an awful lot like what Walmart's been doing with this tie up for, with TikTok, the way that's been kind of playing around with. Was that your idea? I know you're still an advisor at Walmart, too. Yeah, no, that definitely wasn't my idea, but I was definitely helping, uh, you know, Doug and, and team think through that. So, yeah, I definitely think uh, social commerce is, uh, is going to be a big part of the future of retail, for sure.
uh, and the ability to buy you know, directly from influencer videos right off the platform makes it really seamless. I mean, it's kind of what Alibaba does too. Is, is, is this what you think the new wave is going to be? I do. I do. This is one of them. I think uh, conversational commerce as well. The ability to use voice and text to get anything you want. I think that's the future. I think in 20 years from now, the idea of like going to a search engine and typing in toaster and getting 10,000 responses and having to figure out which one to buy, that's going to be something we're going to laugh at in 20 years. So it's going to take time. We're sort of early stages now. But I think conversational commerce is today where uh, e-commerce was back in the in sort of the late 90s. Mark, why did you leave Walmart? I mean, you were your head of all the e-commerce operations there. What made you decide you wanted to go back out on your own again? No, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I love building stuff. Uh, when I was little, I wanted to be a farmer because they grow stuff from nothing. That's what I like to do. I like to build stuff from nothing. And uh, I was at Walmart, you know, four and a half years. I think we um, you know, put uh, e-commerce in a really good place. There's a great team there. The strategy and, and vision is sound. Um, and just felt like it was the right time to go out and, and start uh, creating new things. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.